the NCRC 7s is brought to you by Finney Ridge Painting, professional painting with a personal touch. As promised, it's the Apple Cup. The Cougars take on the dogs out of University of Washington from the kickoff. Huskies get the ball, go to Justin Santos, automatically look to move the ball wide, finding a little holes in the defense, but the Cougars are up for the challenge and a hard hit sets the tone to the game. Patrick Sullivan sends the ball to Matt Huller. Huller onto his wing, Lars Swenson, and Swenson's gonna have enough momentum to get over for the opening try. Huller at the breakdown, passes to Will Christopher. Christopher immediately onto Swenson. Swenson immediately onto Sullivan. Sullivan immediately onto Casey Smith. Casey Smith fends one defender, goes back inside to Patrick Sullivan, sheds the final defender, and the Cougars are in for yet another try. Second half now, and the ball goes to ground. Lars Swenson comes in. He's gonna fly hack the ball forward. Ref says that's okay. Huller gets the loose kick, and he looks to be off to the races to score a certain try, but number nine, Santos, comes and bundles the player into touch. Cougars turn the ball over. Will Christopher on to Patty Sullivan. Sullivan's gonna go on to Matt Huller. We've been calling this kid's name all day. He finally gets a reward for his hard work and scores a five-pointer. Husky saving a little magic for the end of the game. From the ruck, Ryan Byarle passes to Christopher Dingle. He goes to Dara Fitzpatrick, who's gonna miss a man out to the danger. Justin Santos, Santos needs nothing but his speed to get around all of the Cougar defense and best to Jordan Rewalt's efforts. He cannot quite get there. Huskies are gonna go in for a nice consolation try. Unfortunately, not enough. Washington State finishes the game 15 to five. Huskies take on powerhouse Central Washington. Number nine, Justin Santos is bundled into touch. Tim Stanfield says, thank you very much, I'll take that. Throws the ball back in bounds. Ball's gonna go out to Tanner Barnes, who's gonna show some blistering speed and lack of UW defense. Dogs, where are you? We need some help on defense. He's gonna take the ball all the way to the line. Underneath the post, Justin Santos tries to run him down, but to no avail, five nothing to the Wildcats. Central's Paul Smith then overarms the pass to Jacob Bates. A little juke is all it takes, and Bates is under the post for another five-pointer. UW is soft around the edges, and Patty Blair realizes this, takes the ball on a half break, finally offloads to Tim Stanfield, who's in for another five-pointer. But wait, this guy's not done. No time for a breather. He's taking the conversion right now. The Huskies finally get on the board with help from Justin Santos, who breaks a couple tackles before the Wildcats finally put him down. He's going to lay the ball back. Huskies could do a nice job clearing that ball out. Daryl Fitzpatrick picks up the ball, and he's straight over for a try. Wildcats swing the ball wide from the penalty. It goes to Josh Bauer. Bauer cuts back, sends a ball out to Tanner Barnes. The winger does enough to break a lackluster tackle from the Dogs. Storms down the sideline, looks for some support inside because Santos is coming after him. Finally, he's going to find Jacob Bates, who angles his run. Santos is trying to run him down, but Bates does enough to dot down. With little option, the Huskies decide to run the ball from deep. They are searching for some holes in the Wildcat defense, send the ball through a number of players' hands before it's finally going to end on the wing to Adam Commons. Commons is going to step around one defender. He knows he doesn't have the gas to get to the try line, finally offloads to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick does have the gas to get to the try line, and the Huskies are going to end the game with a score. Not enough, though. Wildcats end the game 47-10. to 10.